Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am Roberto Rodriguez and this is Detail Culture and today we're going to talk about DIY details interior ceramic coating or not coating just ceramic interior or interior ceramic. <laughs> there it is. All right, the reason why I want to talk about this product right here is because it's something new to me. So I've never had no like uh, interior protection that can do um, vinyl, leather, and fabric. It can do all that. So um, this product or this brand of product is made for, like I said, DIY. It's in the name. It's for people, just for regular people who just want to have time to clean their car, protect their vehicles, you know, make them look nice. Um, but also... As well, this is really nice for me, like I said, because I want to do my uh, doors in plastics. So I have everything ceramic coated. I got my windows, I got my glass, I got my rims, I got my leather seats already. I haven't got my fabric yet, but I'm going to get that eventually. I'll probably use my uh, G-Technic Smart Fabric for that, but you can use it for this as well if you need to use your under your fabric, so it's really nice. So, with that being said, let's see how this, video, or how this product is going to be applied. I just want to apologize for my big old head in the way, just let y'all know. So all you got to do is just spray it on the applicator, or you can spray it on the surface. It really doesn't matter. It just says just don't oversaturate the surface and you should be fine. I just want to spray it on there for more control for me. Um, so there it is. You just put it on there, and after that, you just let it sit. It should let it dry, and then any residue on there, just wipe it off, and it should leave a nice finish for you. So I'll show you before and after. This is the before. It's the same door but dirty. See, it doesn't do that great of a job. And then the next door you'll see is the door I did beforehand. And it works really well on the plastic. It really beads up real nice and drips off. But I did do this in my garage. It's December and it's like 20 some degrees. So I'll get benefit of the doubt. But yeah, it works pretty well. All right. So this product right here costs $49.99. You get it from the website. I didn't pay no uh, shipping. So it was just $49.99. That was it. Really nice. Um, so if you break it down, it costs like $3.12 for an ounce of this. So always charge accordingly to what your products cost and so you can you know, be profitable in your business. Uh, or if you're doing this by yourself, you can keep this and it'll probably last you a long time. Definitely a, a good thing to do. What I think this is really going to shine in is in cup holders, you know, because really, if you guys know, you know, cup holders are probably the nastiest things you have. Everything just falls in there, stays in there. Drinks get spilled in there, and the more dirt get in there. It's just, I've seen some nasty ones. So I think this is going to be really, to make it easier to reclean. And that's the thing about ceramic coatings are, or, or any type of ceramic uh, products, is the ease of maintenance of cleaning your vehicle, which is really nice. It saves you a lot of time, you know, so you're not, you know, like like those nasty cup holders, spend a lot of time sitting there brushing, and then maybe sometimes I have to bust out steam to really get that clean or get anything stuff off, or any of the nasty stuff off of there. So with this... Um, hopefully it will help that out so you can just kind of clean it up brush it in there or take it like a, a towel spray some cleaner and just wipe around hopefully you should be it so i guess we'll see and i, I don't know what the uh, the what's it called the durability on this thing um i've tried looking up no one's ever said nothing it doesn't say on the bottle i assume i would say maybe let's say a month maybe three um, it could be more. I think if it was more, it would say, but like I said, it's it's still a protectant for your vehicle, and it does, you know, uh, protect. There's UV protection in here for your plastics, and it, you know, helps from wear and tear, stuff like that. And it says, um, avoid spraying on headliner, and to me, isn't headliner like a fabric? Um, so I don't know what they mean by that. Or oversaturating surfaces. So you don't want to spray too much. I just use, like you see in the video, just the uh, applicator. And just wipe it on there, let it dry. After you let it dry, any like residual stuffs on there, wipe it off, and it leaves a nice matte finish. So it's not like gloss, you don't like that, so you should be okay. Um, I believe that's really about all I really got to say about this. So hope you guys like the video, and hope you guys try this product out, and hopefully it works well for me and my customers. So we'll see how it is. All right, catch you on the next one.